currently on the screen is the life of a tropical cyclone Gita, now a Cat 4 system. The life of Gita up to a few hours ago. A tropical cyclone Cat 4 Gita now has a persistent eye feature. And for Monday, the 12th of February, welcome to another update on severe tropical cyclone Gita. It was my intention to put out a uh, second update uh, yesterday, but my area or the southeast Queensland region uh, was severely impacted by a, a severe thunderstorm which saw 265,000 lightning strikes recorded. Uh, here's a look at the Fiji's track on the system. And there was no doubt from driving around my local area that we had substantial uh, tree damage, quite a bit of uh, rubbish on the roads and possibly a Cat 1 cyclonic winds. Now this is a look at one floater for Gita and you can definitely see her eye. A person taking a shower late yesterday afternoon during the height of the severe thunderstorm warning was electrocuted but he's okay and was taken to the local hospital. Gita 21 decimal 7 degrees south 171 decimal 5 degrees east And located 180 nautical miles south southwest of Nauru. Has tracked west southwest at 12 knots over the past six hours. Here's the latest joint typhoon warning center's track chart. And the entire New Caledonia region is now in its uh, cane of uncertainty. Now the 850 bit above vorticity, you can definitely see Gita and she is heading towards becoming a Category 5 uh, cyclone on the Australian scale. And again it's uh, Gita's uh, steering mechanism, upper level diverges along with the subtropical ridge and timing for its uh, change to a westerly direction then uh, possibly poleward uh, it'll be a few days yet now here's a look at the windshield the red is unfavorable yellow neutral and green is very favorable Now this is the 24 hour shear tendency. A look at the NOAA range of floaters on the system. Uh, sea service temperature is 28 to 29 uh, degrees Celsius. 
and the environment analysts have revealed that the system is in an area moderate 15 to 20 knots uh, vertical wind shear Upper level analysts say that the system has moderate outflow predominantly on the equator wood side. Gator is still under the influence of subsidence uh, caused by or subsidence caused by mid latitude drop located to the southwest so it's a limiting intensification. Now here's the total precipitable water and the scale in millimetres right hand side and it's the area in pink. The cyclone is currently tracking westward under the steering influence of a subtropical ridge to the south and will continue to track to the west until uh, the completion of 48 hours which time it will then turn southwest. The Fiji's current service chart. Now look at the needy radar. We will continue to bring updated information as soon as practical. And here's a look at a satellite feature available on the Tonga meteorological service website and Nathan will continue to put updated uh, information out via the main channel You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com, which has had a revamp and is still under reconstruction, but take a look. Also, YouTube, of course, if you haven't subscribed, that might be a good idea. Visit Force 13. We're also on Facebook under the same name, of course, and you can like us on there, and you can also follow us on Twitter. Search Force 13 all in text for those. You can also add Force 13 on Skype or my personal account on Discord, Fool 13, at extension 9094.